And we found a bunch of like Looney Tunes and Disney and Sesame Street, Pokemon, tons of toys, um, stuffed animals mainly. And uh, we put them through the wash one cycle. And unfortunately, some of the Beanie Babies didn't make it. Um, so I'm trying to get off some of the fuzz and I'm trying to, you know, clean off some of the beads. And we're going to put them through the wash cycle again. But like, this is one of the ones we found. Like, how cool is he? I love him. I was like trying to clean them in his mouth and everything. It was insane. So um, I have some more cleaning to do. He's still wet and sticky. But I have an entire bin full of toys I need to vacuum. Um, these have been put away since we moved here at least eight years ago, and I don't know how long they've been put away since then, but some of these my husband's 25-year-old played with and had when he was a baby, so that's how old they are. So I'm going to back to cleaning these toys, and I will show you some of the results when we're done. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. So I wanted to show you, because the Taz was like kind of clean, he wasn't as dirty, this is what we're talking about. Like, this is the dirt and grime that was on these. And it's pretty much fluff from the other stuffed animals because if you do not store your stuffed animals properly, like in a good bin or in like a vacuum seal container, wild animals can get to them. And we learned the hard way because a couple of our Beanie Babies, fortunately not some of the, you know, more collectible ones, they didn't make it. Um, and we had a bunch of Beanie Babies that it, it just looked like a massacre. So um, we already put these through one cycle. We're going to put these through again another cycle. But I just kind of wanted to show you what they look like. And I've just been sitting here vacuuming them off. I mean, look at Grover. He looks pretty nasty. And the Wiley Coyote looks pretty nasty too. So um, kind of just figured you want to see what they look like before they were kind of clean. So I'm going to go back to work. Hey everyone. So we have reached a new milestone and I'm really excited. Because finishing one milestone means I can go make another one. So I would like everyone to make sure that they're continuing to comment, like, and subscribe on the page. And get your friends and family to do it too. Um, because the more the channel grows, the more fun stuff we get to do. So I wanted to let you guys know um, we're going to still do giveaways and such um, with the comments. And the comments have been reset um, at the 150 mark. So any videos after January 10th is how we're going to count the comments going forward. So make sure you're commenting on the new videos that are coming out. So I'm thinking um, our next giveaway is probably going to be at the 300 subscribers mark. And I think it's very doable. I think we can reach it. And I'm really excited and looking forward to it. Um, so I think... I, I don't know. I don't think I know what the prize is going to be yet. So it's to be determined. Um, we'll see. And, you know, I'm always taking suggestions. So if you want to put something down in the comments that um, some toy that you would like to see as a giveaway, just let me know. Um, so, yeah, and it could be another um, winner's choice. So who knows? And don't be disheartened. I know some of you think that 300 is really far away. But who knows, I may just do a random giveaway in the middle just because I like doing giveaways. So stay tuned. I may like put a secret word in a video that if you are the first one to find the hidden word, then you get a, a toy or get a prize. So who knows? So stay tuned um, and I appreciate you guys as always and help me reach my next milestone. I'll see you soon.